Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I have another card for you, to, card for you today. Um, usually I already have a card set up and made up and I follow it, but this time I don't. So I kind of know what I want to do, so hopefully it'll come out fine. So what we're going to use today is the this little piggy stamp set. And I'm going to be using this one that says, You Make Me Happy. Hope there's not too much of a glare. I'm going to use that stamp set stamp and I'm also going to be using the framelits from the coffee cup uh, bundle the coffee cup coffee cafe bundle but I'm using the coffee cups framelits on that I'm also going to be using uh, the layering oval framelit dies I'll be using the largest scalloped oval in this uh, in this set and I'm also going to be using the uh, stitched shape framelits. And I'm going to be using the largest stitched shape oval. I think I got that all right. I have some pear pizzazz ink, just a little bit for that. And I have some basic black ink. I have a uh, basic black Stamperite marker, an aqua painter, and an old olive. Uh, coloring pencil, watercolor pencil, and that's because I don't have um, a pear pizzazz or old olive uh, Stamperite marker. So I need to, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, coloring with that. This is just a scratch piece, a uh, scrap piece of pear pizzazz. I'm going to use this to cut out the, uh, the oval. I have my Stampin' Dimensionals. Also have my uh, snail. So the cardstock we're going to be using is the pair of pizzazz and it's cut it at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a fourth. I'm going to be using some paper from the Coffee Break bundle, uh, Coffee Break Designer Series paper, which is part of the Coffee Cafe bundle, say that. And I have a piece that's, I believe this piece is four, four by five and a fourth. I have a piece that's two and a half by, I think this is by three. Let me see what this is. Oh, I have the inches on the other side. Let me see what this, what size this is real quick. It's a piece that's four by two and a fourth. And then out of this, this is part of the designer series paper. They have framelits in the coffee uh, bundle where you can cut out the little coffee cups that are in here. So if you don't like fussy cutting, you're gonna, you can cut those out. How cool is that? So I have that. Then I just have a scrap piece of uh, powder pink. This is one of, some of the new paper. And I also have a scrap piece of um, Whisper White. So let's get started. Hopefully I can remember what I said I was going to do. You know what? So let's, let's do this first. Before I forget. So we're going to score that. <clears throat> Move some of this out of the way. And I'll layer this up. This is, this is kind of cute. You can't really, I don't know if you can tell, but it's little hearts that are on there. Really, really cute. So usually I'll, you'll do this at the end, but I'm going to go ahead and get this done out of the way right now. And another piece from the Coffee Break Designer Series paper. And I'm going to set that over to the side, kind of center it from top to bottom, but closer to the left hand side. Okay, so I'll move that aside. So the next thing we're going to do, that I want to do, is I'm going to stamp this image on the powder pink. That way I don't have to color it in. I got the idea from a fellow demonstrator um, who had did that as well. I thought that was a really good idea. So just stamp it down and up cool 
So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my paper snips. And I don't like fussy cutting, but I don't have a, a, a die for it. I'm going to cut this out, uh, just the pig. I don't need anything else. I'm just going to cut out the pig. So I'm going to set that aside and I do, I'll do that in a minute. But I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do first. Because that will take a minute. So I am going to go to my Big Shot. And I'm going to cut the following pieces out. And I'll stamp that down. And for this one I need the scalloped and I'll put that down you know what let me do this first I need to clean this off because I'm going to be um, I'm going to use this stamp, the sentiment, and make wipe all of this off. Just using the baby wipe. Now, I could get my stamp and my scrubbing spot. I don't know why I didn't. But that's me. Cool, so it's off. Now, for this, all I want is the sentiment. And I'm going to color that in with the... Um, a black stamp right white marker and then I'm going to cut that out as well that's what I'm going to do this now so I can take everything over to the big shot and cut it out at one time so I'm just the sentiment that was on here that says you make me happy I'm just coloring that portion in in the basic black Cool. So now let me go back. I'll put that on here and I'll put this. Where's my other tape at? Oh, put that around there. So though this is ready and that's ready, the green. Now for this one, I just need to cut out the coffee cup so I'm going to put the frame little around it isn't that neat framelits actually fit the designer series paper I think that's a new trend that they're going to be doing which is really great because I hate fussy cutting I'm mad that <laughs> not really mad I shouldn't say that but I'm I'm not really happy that I have to cut out this um this pig so I'm going to take this over to the big shot and cut all these pieces out and uh then I'm also going to cut out the little piggy and I'll be right back okay I'm back and so let, let's finish up this card what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the pear pizzazz oopsie it's gonna be one of those nights and I'm going to just sponge around the edge of the sentiment oops a little too much that's fine now I'll set that aside. Pair of his ass up. Now I'm going to stamp the little piggy. I guess I don't really, but I kind of want it. Yes, I do. I need. I need to have that on there. I was thinking that I didn't need to stamp it up. But I do. Now in doing that, I need to wipe off I don't want the flower and I don't want the sentiment. So I'm using my There we go. And we're going to breathe on it and we'll center it on the 
Oval. Cool. So there, there's a little faintness right there, but I think I can cover that up so it won't be, um, you really won't see it. So the other thing I'm gonna do is take my Stampin' Right marker and kind of go around the edges so you don't see the little white or the pink core. Any imperfections I'd have when coloring it will go away. Well, not coloring when I cut it, I mean. You have to forgive me, everyone. It's late. I should be in bed. But I wanted to do this video right quick. Sometimes you get an idea in your mind and you want to go ahead and do it. Well, that's what happened. Okay. So now we're just about finished and we can get all of this done. Push that over a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to pop up on dimensionals. The little pig. And we'll do that off. There we go. And we'll pop the coffee cup on a dimensional as well. And I did want to color in a, the grass just a little bit. Just to give it a little color like so it's not look, look so it doesn't look like it's floating in the air and very, very lightly. There we go. And we'll set this And I'll set this on a dimensional as well. And it looks like it needs something else. I think I want to put some enamel dots on there. You make me happy. So let me get some dimensional, I mean some dots. Okay, so what I have here are the glitter enamel dots and they're part of the color theory package. I don't know if you can see the gl how they glitter. That is really cute. I like that. So I'm just going to put a couple on here. Oopsie. I'm going to use those middle ones. I like the pink one as well. And I think I'll put another pink one up here. And that looks a little crooked. There we go. Okay, everyone. That's my card for today. This is using the this little piggy stamp set along with the coffee break designer series paper and uh, there you go I just love this little piggy and I'm glad I didn't have to color it in I'm glad I saw that the other demonstrator um, just used the powder pink I'm, I'm not sure if she used powder pink I use powder pink as part of the um, and just cut it out so you don't have to go ahead and do that so this little piggy loves his coffee and it makes him happy or her happy 
So thanks so much for stopping by. This is Yolanda from Crafty Sentiments, CraftySentiments.com. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And as always, the uh, supplies that were, I used will be in the description box below. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, and if you're looking for a demonstrator, and I would love to be that demonstrator for you, and give me a excuse me, send me an email if you have any questions or any uh, inf or have any questions, and I'll get the information back out to you as soon as I can. If you're looking for a catalog, I would like to give send out the catalog for you. As if you don't have a demonstrator to uh, provide that information for you as well. So again, this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com, and I'll be back real soon with another video. Thanks for stopping by.